Welcome everyone to a 90 second crash course in the GoTo Shell series where we try to cover your questions in under a minute and a half. Reminder, all videos and demonstrations use Bash version 4 as the shell. And with that, here we go. Today's question is about true and false, otherwise known as Boolean data types, and do they exist in Shell or do they exist in Bash? If that's all you came here to find out, the answer is no. There are no Boolean data types in Shell. If you haven't seen the video I did, it's about a five minute normal, you know, go to series video on variables and, or I believe it's called variable data types and their attributes. You should go watch it because it explains why pretty much everything is a shell, there's a string in shell. So go check that one out. It'll help you. But I didn't just make this video for nothing. Obviously, bash and other shells support if then constructs and the while loop or the until loop so there are conditionals so something has to evaluate to true right there has to be some sense of true what it really boils down to is the status code of a program can be true or false and we'll discuss that i'm going to start it off though with giving you an example of a portable way to use a boolean like behavior with strings and i'll discuss why you should probably follow that format let's start the timer on this there we go. All right, let's take a look at our file. The way I recommend treating Boolean type logic is to just put it in a string and use the string true or the string false. And then when you use your test construct, make sure you quote your variable and then quote the literal true. It's the simplest and most portable way that is safe for you to use because there is no real Boolean. The end. Down here, I told you, by the way, this is all portable. Down here is the not portable stuff. Bash has a built-in true command that will return an exit code of zero and therefore be considered successful. This is not actually a true data type, okay? It's just a true command. The single bracket syntax for test, I mean, if you put any character in here, it's considered true, whether it's quoted or not. An empty string is not considered true. An unset variable is not considered true. As there are dozens, maybe even hundreds of more examples, we could use the double bracket syntax. We could call the uh, bin test or user bin test command directly. Now, basically, you need to check the exit code of whatever program is running to determine truthfulness. And to show you that, the exit zero command we looked at earlier gives you an exit code of zero. That is the only thing Bash will consider or Shell will consider true. Anything that exits non-zero, one or above, is not true. I'll run it and show you. And that's it, guys. There is no true Boolean data type. I kinda wish there was, but oh well. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, remember that this was not supposed to be an exhaustive list of things that are true or truthful um, or successful. It's just to demonstrate that there is no Boolean data type and that successful is determined by the status code of whatever command you're running. So, you know, we could talk about, you know, the colon and how for some reason, at least in Bash, a bare colon is considered truthful, which is funny on a couple levels, but maybe I'm just immature. Either way, uh, give me a thumbs up if you thought this one was helpful. Leave some comments, you know, other ways you know to... Um, do truthfulness, maybe other test cases. If there's a big list out there someone can use as a reference guide, that would be awesome. I haven't really found one yet. Uh, also, if you subscribe, it helps me get these videos out there because obviously I don't have any paid promotion. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a wonderful day.